Hey cooks, and welcome to part one of our Ollie's Gadget Challenge. So both me and Eric went into Ollie's and we picked a gadget to see who would come up with the best little new thing for the kitchen. I chose the Steamomatic hot dog steamer. I paid $12.99 for this, regularly $24.99, and it steams your hot dogs and buns in minutes. Um, so this is part one of this challenge. I'm going to be putting a poll up in my Facebook group as well as on my webpage about which one is going to win. Eric's got his edible spoon maker and I have our Steamomatic hot dog steamer. So uh, let's get going. Let's try this baby out and see if I did well picking at Ollie's Bargain Mart. <music> Vote for me. Vote for me. Oops, did I just say that? Boo, Amy. <laughs> Vote for me. Boo. So here's our little hot dog steam o -matic. Isn't it so cute? So the way this works is you plug it in. At the bottom, you're going to cover this in water. Then here you have a little drawer to put your hot dogs. And then it has this little thing that goes in here. And then your buns go over here. And we're going to steam them for five to seven minutes. So I have some warm water here, hot water. They say you put in a half to two thirds cup water. You just have to cover this heating element. Looks like we're covered. And let me turn this on to start this baby up. Okay, so number one, we're going to pull out our drawer. Now, one of the things I've seen, which is an issue of this thing, is it has a, it doesn't have the right bun to hot dog ratio. Because this drawer supposedly holds four hot dogs. No, it no the, bun, the drawer will hold eight hot dogs. But the bun holder only holds four, so I don't get what's up with that. I guess, do I put them this way? You put them anywhere you want. I'm just putting four in here. So technically this drawer will hold eight. And we're gonna put our little buns here. Yay. So this supposedly holds four hot dog buns. Yeehaw. We're gonna put the lid on. It says steam for five to seven minutes. So when these hot dogs are ready, we are gonna have classic steamed hot dogs. So we'll be right back. Okay, it looks like we have some hot dogs that are done. The buns are nice and soft. I'm afraid they were going to get a little soggy there. And there's our hot dogs. They are nice and plump. So let's move this out of the way. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a little worried about these hot dog buns. It didn't say anything about don't have the hot dog buns in there for too long, you know. But yeah, they're... This one dry out. We gotta be able to get them out. Get a fork or something. Ow! Oh! Not... Lord have mercy. <laughs> 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 wow, okay. So I would say don't leave the buns in there all that time, because they're... They're definitely steamed up. A trip to the hospital is a vote for me. <laughs> so I'm going to do everything wrong in the world, right? Because I'm putting mayonnaise on my hot dog bun. Yeah, right? But I'm putting what I like, so that's what I like. Mayo. Mm-hmm. Eric on his bun, I don't know. Wow. Just, just, I don't, this is easy, boo-boo. At this point, you make it easy. Don't put anything. Just put the hot dogs, and then you put the mustard, because I don't want to sog out even more. Okay, so Eric wants his dog on first. Dog on. Right on. <laughs> then a little bit of mustard. Mustard? A little bit of mustard, then the cheese, then the sour cream. That's good. You want ketchup? 
I want Kathy now. I thought you said you... I don't want Kathy. Okay, that's enough, baby. Yep, cheese. Cheese. He wants cheese on his. Your cheese is not melted by that's virtue okay. of... It, it'll, it'll do okay because it's up against the hot dog. Cheese. And Eric wants sour cream, which is kind of odd. Okay. I don't know, sour cream and mustard? Why not? That's what he wants, right? Maybe. Okay, so I'm putting my little hot dog in here. I could use some chopped uh, onion, but that's okay. Okay, so there's my steamed hot dog. And here's Eric's steamed hot dog. Should I put ketchup on mine? If you like it. I usually don't put ketchup on mine. Oh. Okay, so let's taste the steamomatic dog. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Steam hot dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's delicious. Yeah, this is horrible. It's overdone. It's flavorless. I give it zero points. Two thumbs down. He's only saying that because he wants you to vote for him. <laughs> so you definitely get that like steam hot dog, hot dog cart kind of hot dog. You know what I mean? A lot of times when you go to a hot dog cart, this is better because a hot dog cart is usually floating in some water that's questionable, right? Mm -hmm. This actually really gives you that Though that hot dog cart kind of taste, mm, I like it. I get my thumbs up. Are we off the air yet? It's kind of tasty. Oh, you didn't hear that. <laughs> um, I would say the only thing with this about this is there's there's just an issue with the hot dog to bun ratio, and that you can only do four dogs in here. You can do eight dogs and four buns. That's kind of, you know, yeah. But I give it my thumbs up to the steam manic hot dog cooker. So stay tuned tomorrow for Eric's Edible Spoon Maker. I'll be putting a poll up in the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. And hopefully I can get one on the um, website as well. Just for a little fun, what do you think is the, uh, kind of a cool little gadget that we got at Ollie's Bargain Mart. So remember, the steam o -matic, steam your hot dogs. Vote for Amy, right? <coughs> <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, and also visit my new website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook, Facebook, facebook.com slash groups, slash Amy Learns to Cook for the poll, and on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. Mmm, hot dog.